Tell me, what prompted you to edit the book, the 45th anniversary book of a field? Well, we named it the Fielding Scholar Practitioner, as you know. And in fact, you also know the origin of the book, which it was a result of a conversation between you and Jerry Porter, our provost at the time, who talked at a summer session about what could we do for the 45th anniversary of Fielding Graduate University. And what I really appreciated about your idea was what a great opportunity to build a, in writing, a rich tapestry of all that is fielding by inviting fielding students and alumni and trustees, colleagues, uh, faculty, even staff to come together and say, do you want to submit a piece, a contribution for the monograph? We'll, we'll review them you know, in, a, in a peer open process, but we will do our best to select the contributions that most reflect the broad scope of the And of course, we've published many monographs before, but this right. is, I think, our 20th uh, book at Field University right. Press. Yeah. Yeah. How is it different from the monographs that we've published before, you think? Well, I think, for one thing, this is a fielding focus. So if you think about the other monographs in the series, they are very much uh, related to a particular content area. So I think of the Resilience in Practice monograph, or the one we did earlier on in Sustainability Leadership that I wrote a, a small piece in. Um, that's just a couple of examples that you said we have 20, we have 20 now. But this really is all about fielding. So for example, one of our alum, Gary Wagenheim, wrote about the shift he made from being a person, a business person, who had then become an academic, to then really trying to integrate those two into what he came to realize was scholar-practitioner. So that movement from practice to scholar to scholar-practitioner. I think that's deeper work in a, in a sense, and it really conveys, I think, the impact that Fielding has, not just on the individuals who may be part of the Fielding experience, particularly our students who become graduates, but also, I think, the broader sense of engagement that our graduates have out in the world, which then, which then, of course, has a multiplier effect, which is what you always hope for when you're a teacher and an educator, is you're always hoping for the multiplier effect of the work you do. If, if I were a prospect thinking about joining Fielding for any of its programs, what would I learn in that book that would be important for making my decision? Well, first of all, I would invite every prospective student to read this book. So first of all, I think in general, so at a more, say, philosophical perspective, what you would get is a wide range of understanding of the importance of the behavioral and social sciences on current society and societal issues. I think more specifically though, you would come away, a prospective student, or prospective faculty, would come away with three major ideas. The first is that the social sciences themselves can also be seen in a very multidisciplinary way. So it's not a fielding person doesn't just study one thing, one discipline, one field, one set of literature, one set of, set of scholarship, but in fact it's very multidisciplinary. Mm -hmm. Which means, for one thing, you can ask big complicated questions, which we know in the 21st century. This is where knowledge is headed. We need knowledge that takes in from lots of different disciplines and fields and understandings in order to address, we all know, the very complex problems of the world, of the planet. So that's one thing. Second is a really a much more refined understanding of who the adult learner is. So we say adult, and sometimes that confuses people. Do you mean chronology? What do you mean by that? And what we're really talking about is it's not about your chronological age. An adult learner is someone who has the capacity to take responsibility for their learning and come into a space where they create their learning and they develop themselves and they say not only is learning about content mastery, it's also about the development of myself and myself as an agent of change and as an instrument for the work I do, and that that means I have to develop critical self-awareness and self-reflective skills. 
I have to be aware of my own intentions. I have to seek better understanding and higher, more sophisticated communication skills. And, and so the adult, the whole adult learning piece, I think, is sometimes not well understood in the broader society. And it really is different at fielding. So I think that's the second thing that a prospective student or faculty or anyone who wants to engage in fielding would come away with. And I think the third thing is going back to that first thing I said about scholar practitioner. So the third thing is the scholar practitioner. And the way that I define it to new students is, and I'm not the only one, there are other faculty who talk about it in this way, is that it's like dancing across this hyphen, right? So to give you a specific example, when I worked in the nonprofit arena, I was a hands-on project person that did conservation work. So it was very much practice. And as I had been an academic, I began to feel over time that I couldn't bring that part of my work into practice at scholarship because there wasn't any real place for it in the nonprofits that I worked for. So coming to fielding, I learned that that I could do that. I could integrate scholarship into practice, and I could continue to develop myself as a scholar practitioner. But it's both, both directions. Like from practice, I derived uh, theories about how communities work, or maybe how they should work. Or I could able, I could hypothesize from practice, and and then go study it and research it. And the opposite, from scholarship, I could bring back to practice. And that's actually a skill because it requires you to really understand those dynamics. So I think prospective students would say, wow, this is an amazing multidisciplinary place with a focus on the mature learner and the adult learner, and this, and that we really honor, emphasize, respect, and want to develop the scholar practitioner. We've been talking about the Fielding Scholar Practitioner, the new book from Fielding University Press, which is now available from Amazon.